Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. Where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a pretty interesting show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, as you guys know, um, Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan have had a pretty, pretty messy public fallout. And I would dare say the majority of it has come from Scottie Pippen. Because in the midst of all of this, I've yet to hear Michael Jordan make any public statement or negative statement about Scottie Pippen at all. Not even through a third person. Not even through them. MJ has just been absolutely quiet about the situation. And it's just, it's just, and it's just Scottie Pippen that's just been on this rampage going after Jordan. It's just been one thing after the other. The last one, you heard the ridiculous comments that he came out and made where he said, but you know, Michael Jordan was a terrible basketball player before he got there. They won't win it and everybody forgot how terrible. I mean, what just one of the all time wacky statements. And a lot of people came out there to pretty much roast and toast him. So yesterday or this morning, rather, I came across a, uh, an interview from the Playoff P podcast, the Paul George podcast, where he featured guest NBA legend Jerry West, who, by the way, knows uh, Scottie Pippen, who knows Michael Jordan. He has a relationship with these guys. He knows them. And Paul George basically asked um, Jerry West to just kind of give his thoughts on this fallout between, um, uh, what is it, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. So what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Jerry West had to say here, and then we're going to come back and react to it. Take a listen to what he had to say. You were a part of, uh, I think this was last year in Cleveland, All-Star Game, the mm -hmm. 75th anniversary. You're there with Jordan, Magic, LeBron, D-Wade, Mello, I mean, Larry, the list goes on of NBA legends. What were some of the conversations when you got a room full of heavyweights right. in the same room? Like, well, how, what were some of the conversations and, and, and interactions between you guys? I'm not so sure there were conversations. Most of them, were, you know, if you had a teammate there, there's always that little you know, sticking a <laughs> need, needle in somebody's <laughs> leg or something. A lot of those people I know differently than, you know, playing against them. I knew them personally. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm friends with them. And they're people I greatly admired. Um, uh, you know, they were the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. And finally, to have all those people in one room, um, I said, my goodness, how'd they get all these people here? Okay, how'd they get them all here? <laughs> A lot of only private jets. Only one person wasn't in that room, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Mm. But I have a picture in my house that they took there with um, ones that most of them people like to have picture with. Um, and it's really interesting because I've seen, you know, Michael Jordan, I, I like to say we're, I admire him more than anything. He's... I would say we're close. We don't bug each other, but we're close. Mm -hmm. And I just, he doesn't change, Paul. He does not. He's the same person all the time. And it really troubles me when, you know, Scottie Pippen, who I had a great feeling as a player, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I see him with, uh, for whatever reason, he uh, he's with Michael, why He's even bothered doing that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I really like Scott. He was a hell of a player. Mm -hmm. Really good. I, I don't understand as you get older. Um, and this, I mean, it makes no sense to me. He ought to be thankful <laughs> that he, he won that many games, that many championships with a special team. Right. Right. Put, got an, he got a special player there with you. Right. You touched on you touched on that word jealousy and envy. I don't even I don't you know something, Paul. I don't know that I don't know that I know Scotty. I don't know him nearly well. Obviously, I know Michael well, mm -hmm. but um, with Scotty, I don't know Scotty that well. I don't. But he's always been very pleasant, and very nice to me. And as I say, I admired him tremendously as a player. Mm -hmm. He got better every year. It wasn't that somebody just fell off a cliff. Mm -hmm. He was a really good player. And whatever happens in relationships, and when, when particularly if you look at a team, and you would think that those guys like that would have the most special relationship in the world. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, it, it, I, I just haven't understood that. Right. I think that's where 
the new media, I think, you know, people that hear about what Scotty's saying about Michael, I think that's probably the most disappointing part about it is, is that team and how special and the bonds, you know, I think it'd just be easy for Scotty to give MJ a call and resolve things between each other <coughs> than to attack him through media. Right. Maybe somebody wouldn't accept the call. <laughs> but that's one thing. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. So you heard what he had to say. Jerry was brought up a point that I didn't think about. If you've listened to any championship team, one of the things that they said, and I remember Kobe saying this, he said, whenever you win a championship with a group, you guys establish a bond that lasts for eternity, a lifetime bond, because of all of the adversity you had to go through to capture that championship. You build a bond because of the highs and the lows. And if you think of the Chicago Bulls with Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan, you're talking about a team that won two, three Pete's and six NBA championships. And the constant, the two constants for the entire championship run in terms of roster, in terms of the players, was Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan, and in terms of a coach, Phil Jackson. So one would think they would have an unbreakable bond that would never be broken. But in the case of Scotty and Pippen, uh, Scotty Pippen and MJ, they are having arguably the messiest fallout of any championship duo in NBA history. It will be tantamount to maybe 20 years from now, you see Klay Thompson going and Stephen Curry. A lot of us would just be like, what? After all of those championship runs, after all of those championships, this is how it's ended? And I think that's how a lot of people feel. If you listen carefully, you'd also hear what Paul George said. Is it jealousy? Is it envy? Is that what it is? Even Jerry West himself seemed to be confused about the entire thing. But he also said something else that was important. He said, when Paul George said, maybe it's something when you can just have a phone call and call up the guy and talk to him. And Jerry West said, what if the person you're trying to call isn't willing to talk? In that case, he was talking about MJ. Maybe MJ just said, I'm done with him. And it makes sense what he said because that's what Stephen A. Smith reported. Stephen A. Smith said, the bridge is burnt. These guys will never be friends. And I think it's just so sad to see uh, Scottie Pippen constantly, constantly, constantly go after Jordan every single time in the media and say ridiculous things. It's actually turning a lot of people off. You're not winning over anyone by doing that. And I think it makes him look bitter. Um, and I think that Scotty at this point is lashing out of Jordan because you cannot tell me you have that much pent up aggression for a person that spoke so highly of you every single time. I mean, just go listen to Scotty Pippen when he was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Go listen to the things he was saying about MJ, who was standing there, who inducted him. Then go listen to Michael Jordan talk about Scotty Pippen. So to see how this thing, this degenerated, man, is really, really sad. And I think. Jerry West was 100% on the money. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what Jerry West had to say? And ultimately, do you think this thing is done forever? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section and we catch you on the next show. Peace.